you're probably wondering how I ended up in Honduras with a dude with a shotgun staring me down. Well, let me explain. This is San Pedro Sula, one of the most dangerous cities in Honduras, and the world for that matter. In 2013, it was named the most violent city in the world. 10 years later, I made to see if it still holds that crown. And I'm doing it in the best way I know how. Checking out this country's great food, seeing all its sights, and venturing out the tourist area. And the best thing about it, I'm taking you guys with me. Let's get it. Look, what's up guys? It's El Checking. I just got to the spot, but I'm not gonna be able to record it for my professional cameras because it's super good over here. What I came over here for is called Pollo Choco. Pollo Choco. Super famous uh, Honduran dish. It's chicken, but they make it a special style and had to come here to get it because they said they got the best. So let's get it. All right, guys, so now that I'm out of danger, as you can see, everybody looking at me, so it was no way I could talk and do this video. But you're gonna basically get on this line and this guy's gonna take your order. I knew I was kind of in trouble because the dude, I'm not even joking, the dude right there about to take my order, he was looking at, at pipes, he was looking at guns. So I was like, dang, this is crazy. But anyway, after he takes your order, you basically get a number. And as you can see, this place was crazy packed. I only found out about this place because it was all over the internet. Mind you, I didn't know it was in this crazy neighborhood. I kind of got up and went. I would have went a little earlier if I knew it was like this. This place was gutter, but you know, I had to do what I had to do. Do with the shotgun there, it was, it was crazy. But anyway, this is how it starts off. And as you can see from the amount of people in front of me, because I'm like the last one on this, I had a long way to head in. So you start off with Tejadas, which I, I believe guys, now look, don't quote me on this. I'm pretty sure they're the plantains that kind of look like really thinly sliced plantains. Hold on, let me show you guys the vibes. Like, I give you guys the vibes. Yeah, 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 it was like that out there. It was crazy. But back to this food. So yeah, it was like these very well sh uh, cut, fine cut plantains. And I don't know if those are the Tejadas or if the red things that she's putting, like the, the red onions, I think they were like pickled red onions. I don't know if those are the tahadas or the plantains. Somebody from Honduras or somebody who had this dish before, let me know which is which. But I'm pretty sure they're the plantains. Um, and that's like the base. They put lettuce on that thing. They put uh, the pickled onions. They put the tahadas. She throwing that special sauce on that thing. When I tasted it, it was like a vinaigrette kind of taste. Like it was very interesting, the actual taste of the uh the meal and then she's actually putting this red sauce on it i don't know if it's red but she's putting this other sauce on it and all of that like it's so good guys like when you taste it it's like full of flavor i really give Honduras a shout out for this because they up to something if you guys seen my other videos i keep telling you hondurians love chicken more than black people i'm convinced bro i'm convinced they love chicken more than black people because they get down with the chicken every block you're going to be able to find some chicken and i'm gonna talk about it in the guide or the starter kit when i do honduras honduras is super super similar to dr you get the same vibes from both places i'm not even serious so in dr they got something called pico pollo pico pollo is basically not this but it's fried chicken it's fried chicken in this manner like a big piece of chicken deep fried it's the exact same thing and they don't go crazy with the sauces and all that but they definitely you know have a lot of similarities in the culture food the music we'll get into that on the starter kit but yeah back to the uh pollo chuco so they put this sauce on this it. like a ketchup anybody from new york know this sauce it's the white sauce nobody knows what's in it nobody knows what's in white sauce bro but we just know it tastes good and we put white sauce look if you go to the halal spot new york city gotta ask for extra white sauce if you scared of the sauce, that's how we know you're not from New York. That's like the clear giveaway. If you're asking too much questions about the sauce, we know you're not from New York. You just accept the sauce, bro. Ain't no need for them questions. But yeah, big, crazy pieces of chicken. Throw them on there. Guys, I got to apologize. I cannot remember the price of this thing to save my life. Like, you see the environment. I mean, I'm not worried about nothing. He could have asked me for 100 US dollars, bro. I just gave up what I had. Whatever he asked for, I gave it up. So yeah, she's doing the same thing that the other girl just did, soaking that thing in them good sauces. And I love this show. Like the show is priceless. Like again, it's this New York halal food vibes. Like the sauces, like it's a, it's a, it's a show outside. Like we got a joke. Like if somebody say, hey, I wanna go, I wanna go eat somewhere where they cook the food outside. We're taking you to the halal truck. We're taking you to the halal truck. But anyway, let's keep it in Honduras. I wanna show you guys where they put that chicken how they store it she hitting it with that good sauces too 
mind you, just for re it's about I would say it's about eleven o'clock, ten eleven, ten eleven. So it's definitely you know what I'm saying it's that time of night where I wasn't trying to make all those moves, but I had to give you guys the content because it's very very likely you probably would never come out here. So I gotta show you, and y'all ain't gonna believe me if I told y'all. So I gotta show you. So yeah, security on point. He wasn't laughing. He wasn't playing. More the vibes. I just want to give you guys. I wasn't going nowhere. This was it. Like I was staying in my box. Finally, my food got ready in like 20 minutes, so I wasn't bad. But that was it. This how it looks at the end. Uh, I took it home. Nobody was sitting around. I mean, it was a couple people, but nobody was sitting around playing in that area, bro. Everybody was dead serious. Nobody was joking. People was getting their food and going home. Of course, when you pack it up, you take some of the essence out of it. I like to eat my food where I get it. I don't like taking my food home and all that, but. You know, I had to do what I got to do. But anyway, look, guys, stay tuned. We about to head to another place that I went to before I got this. Once I got this, it was over. My night was done. But before, I went to a crazy nice food park. So stay tuned. You guys going to want to check that out. Let's get into that one right now. What's up, guys? Your boy out checking. And look, we are still out here in Honduras. I hope you guys can see me. It's super dark out here. But look, today I got a special treat for you. We out here. I'm going to show you guys this food spot. I found it. Nobody know about it. So you got to come here to see it. We're gonna get into something crazy. Let's do it. I'll check in. Do it on YouTube. Not a YouTuber. Alright, guys. So, like I said, it's a food spot out here. El Stadio Food Park. I'm hyped. You know why I'm hyped? Because I love food parks. I love food truck parks. I love everything dealing with food. So, before we get into it, guys, just want to let you know uh, I had to enter through there. The big bodyguards. Now, nah, I'm joking. They wasn't that big, but the little bodyguards over there. Made me pay to check my pockets. There was a cover to get in here of Cinquenta, which is 50. Um, Limperas, hope I'm not butchering that name, but 50 Honduran dollars to get in here, which is about dollar fifty. So we're gonna check the spot out. We're gonna walk around real quick, check out what they got, see everything going on in here, and I'm just excited. So let's get into it. Uh -huh. So guys, off the rip, already see Corona everywhere. That's what I need to get into. So, Corona big out here. You know what's funny? I noticed traveling other countries, none of them want their own beer. Like if you go to Brazil, if you want to go to Colombia, maybe not Colombia. Colombia might be the only spot that really rock with their own beer. But every other place, they love Ameri American or, or other beers. It's interesting. Like if you go to Brazil and you try to give them something from Brazil, man, listen, you're gonna be in for it, man. They're gonna they're gonna tell you they don't want it. So alright guys, let's check this out. So a lot of places are like bar restaurants type places. Um, a lot of street food, a lot of sport bars, Corona Station, like I said. A lot of burger spots. So I already noticed Honduras is big on um oh they got my they got me out here. I should try them and put them to the test, yo. You talk about New York street food. I should put them to the test, yo. See, they got spots in the cut and everything. So they got hot dogs here, but I think that's mostly for uh drinks over here. It's a it's a nice little area, like it's pretty pretty big. Oh, it's pretty I wasn't expecting it to be this big. Guys, I hope these videos, I'm trying to work on my night videos with my camera. Anybody who knows the GoPro is not the best night video. As you see, you think I was joking? Pause right over here. Let's check this out. Pause light. It seemed like it might be a game on tonight or something. Everybody watching the game. But like I said, we got the pause light. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we're going we gonna to find something yummy to try out here. This spot is a rib spot. They got prestige. Every spot is decked out with the uh, the, the cervezas. This seems like a nice spot to come with your lady. A nice little date night spot. See? Oh, we gotta talk over the music. I don't want to. I don't want to strike the boy down. Let's talk over the music. A lot of spots got a uh, real food. A la parrilla. A la parrilla. That's real food. That's real big out here. Hello, my Carlitos, Carlitos. 
There's so many options, I don't even know. And the funny thing is, I guess because you paid a cover, they not on me like that. As far as like, how to me down, you guys probably seen the video when I was out in um, Plaza Tipica. In Plaza Tipica, they had a lot of uh, a lot of options. I don't know if I caught it on camera, but they were kind of, they getting kind of aggressive with me. <laughs> wow. Let's see. They got a little kids park over there if you out there with the families. Full, full stop. I may check, check this out a little. Let's see, what is this? Hold on, let's get into this. Though. What is this? Bobo Shake Time. What is, oh, they got, is this, uh, what is that called? What is that the type of tea called? Bubble tea? I got some bubble tea. Got the bubbles over there, but it look a little different. Hmm. I like somebody's smoothies. Let's check out the wing prices. Wings for $1.99, $2.19. It's kind of pricey. For six wings? How much is that? Like five bucks? That's not bad, actually. Not bad. We might have to double back. They got some good, uh, they got some good sauces over here. They got the daring sauce. Atomic. Let's see what's going on. All right, guys, look, the food was good, everything good in there. You gotta check the spot out, super dope spot. We head to the next spot. We got a little staple here. You guys are definitely gonna wanna check this out. Do not wanna miss it. Let's get out running from over. Ah!